wow, it's, it's an incredible responsibility. I, I don't feel worthy of it, nor did I uh, when I got the job, nor do I after I've done the job. Uh, Linda's amazing, and it was always her story to me, so there was no version of doing this movie without her in the driver's seat. I don't know, you know, Jim called and asked her, and if she had said no, I don't know what the f we would have done. Um, we had no backup plan, um, which I really, you know, I should have told Linda's agent uh, while she was negotiating. No, I'm just kidding. But we really didn't have a backup plan. It was, it was, it had to be her story. And only Jim could get her to come back, you know? Oh, man. It's just uh, the coolest moment was probably the first time where, well, when they first worked together, I, I had my driver drive me out an hour and 45 minutes out to the country to see their first scene together. And I just sat there at the monitor with Tim and David Ellison and just watching them just like, what the heck is happening, man? And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, no, this is a Terminator movie. But then I kept, there's another moment where I'm running after Arnold and he's, shoot, you know, he's shooting at me with a machine gun. I was like, wait, now I'm in a Terminator movie. But it wasn't really until I'm just standing there about to attack them both. And Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sarah Connor and the T-800 are looking down the sights of, uh, of like a grenade launcher and, and like a machine gun. And they're aiming at me. And I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just waiting for them to call action to, to, to do my thing. But in my mind, I'm just like, holy moly. Like, yeah, we're here. This is, this is a Terminator movie. Uh, you know, I, I didn't, f look, Deadpool, it was a collaboration there. It was me, and it was Ryan, and it was Rhett and Paul, the writers. Um, and more importantly, it was a character that had been in the comic books and was beloved by fans. So there's a history and a structure to all of that, and you just feel like the caretaker of of this iteration of that. Um, so it really wasn't any different with Terminator. You know, you come in, there's a franchise and a history and a story to tell, and you're just telling another chapter of that story. I don't mind that. Um, I feel sometimes I'm a better editor than I am a blank page guy. Um, so there were aspects of the story that I wanted to see as a fan uh, and to be able to, to say, hey, this is what I want to know about this. This is the movie I would want to see. Uh, and then to be able to say to Jim Cameron, hey, this is a movie <laughs> I want to see. What do you think? And he's like, yeah, I like it. Let's do this and that and make it that way uh, is a pretty amazing opportunity for your second film. It's pretty it's pretty sick. Usually I play the good guy, and so I'm the one kind of dealing out the damage. But on this one, I was taking a lot of knocks, you know, because I didn't, but I just keep coming. You know, I'm just relentless. Can't be bargained with, can't be reasoned with, and I'm just coming after the target, you know.